so far we have seen two programming environments which are closely related to each other in the context of omnet plus plus ide we saw where we define the topology and the network and the components of that topology using the ned programming language but this ned programming language builds upon the reusable c++ classes however there is another dimension to the overall picture that is when we look at c++ and ned both of these have specific jobs one defines what simple modules do the other defines which simple module or compound module does what at run time but it is also important to look at another dimension which is not covered by either of the two that is how to configure omnet plus plus simulations in this particular module we are going to understand is there a need to separate the models and the experimentation done on those models how are we going to configure different simulations as experiments what are any or initialization files and how can we create and edit these any files in omnet plus plus using editor so first things first the need for separating the model and experiments comes from the fact that subdivision and subclassification of a complex task makes it manageable so different aspects of simulation which include the topology definition and the behavior have so far been grouped into the model topology is taken care of by the ned file and the message file that we have not discussed and we shall discuss it in due course of time inshallah the model behavior is declared by the c++ code so overall using these two instruments in omnet++ ide we get a relatively cleaner way of managing simulations but the aspect that as i discussed misses so far is the configuration of the simulations configuration implies the visualization and the ability to determine the effect of inputs given to the system and how the simulation responds to it this is not a behavioral phenomenon alone it is not a topology phenomenon alone in fact it is something different it varies from one run to another simulation run as we have seen neither c++ nor an ned have support for that it is actually the initialization file which provides us to provides us a mechanism to specify these parameters in omnet++ it is actually seen as a file called omnet.ini in most of the cases but it could be different in special cases the ini or ini file is nothing more than a basic ascii text file it comprises key and its value paired together so it is actually the key and the value that the key should be passed with and key as i said is the attribute or the parameter that you want to initialize handling ini file through an editor becomes way too easy the editor lets the user configure the simulation models for execution the editor comes both in form based and source based editing the editor 
is a smart tool that looks at all NDD declarations for simple, compound, and channel. It relates this information to the contents of the INI file. So it means it is doing a translation and cross file checking for the parameters which are given, which are declared and given for each class and the values or the data which is passed to these parameters in the any file. So the editor actually knows very well which any file key matches with which module parameter. Let's look at a scenario in which we try to connect two hosts using a router and one host sends a packet as an echo. The receiving computer receives the packet and echoes back. For the sake of brevity and for ease, we are just going to look at the most relevant part of any file here. Here you can see the example that we previously started with the topology called my network here it is wild carded why because there's just one network had there been more networks then complete path was necessary here we are declaring the number of applications to be just one the application name is tcp session app this particular line of code shows that one standard host is talking to another standard host and there is a connection between the two. This line of code says which port should be connected to in order to establish a connection between these two hosts. When the sending host that is standard host sends packet to standard host 1 it replies. Now this echo factor is actually a variable. If it is equal to 1 it means whatever is echoed is echoed back. But if it is given a value say 3, it means that the packet is going to be increased 3 times and is going to send back. The queuing behavior actually determines the number of frames that can be accommodated on the receiving host side. The queuing algorithm which the receiving host applies is shown here, which is the drop tail drop tail algorithm just for the sake of your recap is when the number of arriving packets or frames increase beyond the total capacity of the buffer the last coming frames or packets are discarded with this short introduction to the any file i think it is about time to look at what happens when NED file is initialized using the any file here you can see two hosts talking to each other through a router. Certainly the details of NED file have been omitted.